Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. Um, tonight I just wanted to show you how I made these tiny little mini um, note cards and envelopes. Um, I'm a big romantic and I love leaving little notes for my husband, whether it's hidden, I've hidden in his um, cereal packet before, um, under his pillow, um, in his um, his briefcase. Um, I've left little notelets for my parents um, and I just I really like it it's just a nice little gesture sometimes to just find something by surprise um, with a nice little note inside so I was just finishing watching The Voice UK which I've loved and Mo was a worthy winner and has won and whilst anyway watching that um, sorry I've got something underneath my pack here I was stamping my own paper which um, for some of you that follow me and have done from the beginning will see a lot of my projects are um, with my own stamped uh, paper. So I've done these um, little notelets here and I started off with this one first which I, um, I stamped with the Stamping Up Jar of Love um, stamp set and I just used the tiny little goldfish um, and I used the Calypso Coral colour to stamp it. And um, it did take a while, but when I sit there watching TV or, um, you know, I, I just find it quite a, th a therapeutic thing to do. So I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, um, and I know that this particular stamp is small. This is all done on one piece of A4 card. Um, so that's it. I just stamped at the A4 card. I did have four of these, but one of them I got some sticky tape stuck on, and when I ripped it off, it ripped all of the designs. So I only have three of these ones, but I do have four of these because I will be making the other one in this tutorial. But basically, they just unravel around the brad, and it just opens up to reveal the little top there. And then I've got a little notelet inside where I've just continued the little goldfish, um, and this is the um, Calypso coral. Um, card but I've um, coloured mine with the uh, ink and my blending tool so I made my own coloured card there and they just sit in really nicely and then you just fold it over wrap around your ribbon or your string whatever you will have and you just wrap it around the brad like so and they're just a nice little folded down size actually I haven't measured they are uh, just under three and a quarter by two and five eighths so a nice little size um, and like I said you will have four from one piece of A4 card I've only got three of my goldfish but that's okay um, so the ones I'm going to be showing you tonight are um, from my um, I had a big splurge with stamping up and I got a um, hostess uh, one of my hostess um, stamp sets and this is the pun intended and I love this this is very much my kind of style um, stamping I've got a nice um, project coming up with this one um, which I will be showing you but tonight I stamped with the bumblebee now there are if you don't have this hostess set there are lots of stamping up bumblebees and just bumblebee stamps in general so it doesn't have to be stamping up um, um, so yes yeah, so I just stamped it all over the A4 card and just coloured it in with my this colour is tulip yellow um, from my Winston and Newton um, Pro Marker um, and that's the little bumblebee there and I just use the stays on if you're using the pro marker because this one is permanent um, and it doesn't bleed when you're colouring in and again I've just used ribbon with this one so again you just unravel the oh yeah there we go I'm just doing it the wrong way um, and again it just reveals this little one and I've just put the little slightly um, stamped him off the card there um, the little bumblebee just so you've got plenty of room to write a little message um, and it just pops in there nicely and again just wrap it around and then wrap it around the brad like so. So let's crack on and make these. So you are going to need, you will have your, so if you've already got your pre-printed cardstock and you don't want to stamp your own then you will need one piece of, sorry let me just grab my notes there, it's just fallen over slightly. Okay, so your main card, this um, card stop measures four and one eighth of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. So this was obviously a piece of A4, so there was one here, one here, one here, and then I just cut the A4 in half and then in half again, and it gave me four of these. Okay, 
So grab your, oh, and I'll just tell you these ones as well. So then you're gonna need a piece of black card. You'll need four pieces of these, and this measures at, unless you're just doing one notebook, um, little note card. This is measuring at two and seven eighths of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch. And then the smaller white piece, you need it to measure two and three, well, I'll put three threes of an inch, that's not right. This is one and seven eighths of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch. Not three threes of an inch, there's no such thing. Okay, so then you will need a piece of ribbon. Um, this ribbon will be cut down slightly once you put it on. I should have measured the ribbon actually, I didn't do that. But this is, it's, a, it's like 11 inches, but I think it's about eight inches that you need. Um, but if you cut them at 11 or even 10, nine or 10, um, you will have to cut a little bit off. And then you'll need a brad. And I've got these black brads here that I've used for the bumblebee ones. Um, but like I said, if you are doing the A4 card, then you'll need four of everything that I've told you. So starting with this piece of card, just grab your school board. And scoring, oh, where's my, oh, there it is. Uh, blah, 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 where am I? So scoring along the four and one eighths of an inch side, you're just gonna score at half an inch and three and five eighths of an inch. Okay, and then rotate it onto its five and seven eighths of an inch side, and you're gonna score at five eighths of an inch and three and a quarter. Okay, and that's all the scoring, so it's really, really straightforward. Okay, pull that away. So now you just need to burnish all of your sides. Don't worry if you have got pen and it's come through because you won't see any of this because it's all going to be stuck inside. So the pro markers do come through the paper depending on what paper you use as well. So, Okay, so you've burnished all of your sides. So now with this tab facing you, you're just going to cut. What I tend to do, because this piece is going to be on, if I show you, so this piece is going to be on the front, this piece is going to be behind but you don't want this kind of hanging over the edge. So you need to be cutting to the left hand side. So if you're cutting this right hand side first, you want to be to the left hand side of that score line. So you're actually cutting it all away. You don't want any of that score line because I know usually we cut through like the middle of the score lines and stuff. You don't want to do that. And then again with this one, you just want to cut then to the uh, right hand side of the score line. So you're, you're just cutting it all out like so, so that you can't see any score line there or there on the tab. And then just just uh, shear that off a bit on the side. I'm just going to tidy up my edge there, my uh, trimmers. You don't need to do this bit, it's just my trimmers fraying my card a little bit there. Okay, so again then on this side, so you're going to cut then to the right hand side of the score line. All the way down to that second score line and then again just cut that completely out it just gives you a really completely crisp side okay and then again just snip that one off and that one there we go so that's all you need to do there now keep these pieces you only need one of them but just keep them to one side for the minute because you need it to cover the um the ribbon that we're going to attach in a bit Okay, now if you've got a corner punch, you just want to corner punch the ends there, which is this piece here. Just, I think, just tidies it up a little bit. But as I always say, if you don't have a corner punch, it doesn't matter. You can keep it um, as it was. So just turn it over, and then what we're going to be doing is just applying some of our double-sided tape onto these tabs. So you just want to put a bit of tape on each of these. So that one... And that one. I actually got the idea to use the bumblebee um, after a mammoth seven mile hike that I done today. And um, it was just lovely, really, really beautiful, clear blue spring day. And there was lots of flowers in bloom and meadows and stuff. And there was so many bugs flying around and everything. It was just really nice. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna put some good use to this stamp because I haven't actually used the stamp set yet so it's the first time. So you've applied your double sided tape to both of these and you just want to fold it and just line it up and just stick down making sure 
I mean you scored your score line straight there so you just want to make sure that it does line up like so there we go and then that will just fold over like that okay so really really straightforward easy piece piece then grab your two pieces of card here just going to quickly colour in my little bee there didn't do much colouring, just highlighted it really. There we go. And then you just want to stick that one onto the uh, black card. Like so. Okay, just line that one up. So I'm just going to have to put it a bit over nearer to me so I can see over the top. There we go. If you have any frayed edges, just grab your pokey tool and just smooth out any of those side bits like that. And there we go. So you can just pop that now inside. And obviously you'll write your little message on and things like that. So now you need a hole punch. Um, I've got two size hole punches. This is my smaller one. I've got a larger one as well, but I just needed the smaller one just so it was big enough to pop one of my um, brads through. So um, what you want to do is just line up the middle bit of that um, that flap and just pop a hole there. Pop your brad in. Now, when you you don't want to just close the brad so this is flat. You basically want it. If I can, so it's there's like a little, you know, tiny little kind of gap there, just so you can wrap the ribbon around. So what I've found I've been doing is just resting my pokey tool. You can see what I'm doing there. I'm putting the pokey tool under the brad, and then just when I open it on the other side, when you go to close it, it gives you now that kind of raised. And just see if I get it lined up. There you go. Okay, so that's what you want to aim for there and grab your black um, string and you basically just want to kind of wrap it if you go from like so and then kind of just squeeze it underneath it's a little bit fiddly hang on like so keeping that end down and then back up There we go. Like that. So you want the ribbon flat and facing upwards. And then with one of these pieces here, I'm going to use that one because it's not so bad with the scoring. You again just you can see there I've got a kind of a score line piece. I'm just gonna tidy that up and remove that piece. Cut any of the other there's a score line there, I'm gonna cut that off. This is basically just to cover up that brad. Okay, and then just with my corner punch, I'm just slightly cornering off those sides because this is going to be popped on this back piece here. Don't worry if it doesn't cover it all, it, it was just because it was spare, um, and unfortunately, none of them will fit exact, but it does cover that piece of the brad to stop it, the ribbon um, kind of unraveling. I'm using my red tape for this just so it's really secure. Um, but if you've got any strong tacky glue, that would be good as well. Um, you just don't want the um, the ribbon or the rope unravelling. Um, I just lost the end. Put another piece on. And there we go. And then what I've been doing is just scoop up kind of the bottom bit of the ribbon there and then so it's all stuck down, keeping that at the front. Then you can stick it down like so. I've gone a bit off centre there, but it's fine. And then just fold it down and then with your 
bone tool you can really flatten it like so and there you have it and then you just bring it under around the back and then because you've lifted that brad up you can wrap it around perfectly like so and then I'm just going to trim that so actually I reckon nine and a half inch ribbon will be fine I'll put that down in the blog and in the uh, description part there you have it really easy simple really <laughs> cute little um, note cards or little love notes there you go that's what I'll be using them for just nice little messages to give to people so there you go nice quick easy little tutorial from me today um i hope you enjoyed it please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye